Hi folks, for this tutorial I thought I'd do one of the best Halloween characters, Jack Skellington from A Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, feel free to pause at any point and as always make sure you like and subscribe and send me any suggestions for other characters you'd like me to do. Enjoy. So for this one, I want to start with a sort of egg shape, like that, and a slightly smaller egg shape on that side, and fill those in dark. Once you've got that, do some small lines underneath. And then two small dots to make those nostrils. And then you can follow that around to make that head. Now once you've got that, you want to bring a line around, slightly up, down and around. And then do little lines going all the way along that mouth. Then do the neck, which are two sticks like that. And then a small collar, so two triangular markers like that. And a line going around with two eyes. And then you can feel that behind there quite dark. Now we've got that, I want to curve a line going around and down, and around and down. And then you can bring a line up to there, and one going down there as well. Then another like that, and another like that. And then go back into a point back into a point, make another point on that one, and a point on that one, and then a point in the middle. And then put some lines on that to fill it all in. There you go, just filling in those gaps. Now you can bring a line down to there and a slightly wider one down to there. Now I want to bring a long line going down to here and all the way down there. And just slightly hook that out ever so slightly on his cuff. And some more lines along that arm. Once you've got that, curve this around to the arm and out and around, and then put some points going out like this. And then once again, follow these bits with some stripes. Now, bring the line out to there, a point and back, and out there, and point and back, and again, and again. Hook that in and put a few lines here and there to make it skeletal. Now, what you can do. Do a long line going from over this way right over to this jacket and not far away to the jacket maybe slightly wider as you get towards the coat but not very much 
and then you can hook that back down like that and back down like that now bring another line going adjacent to that one and then you can go just slightly past it and bring a knee down like this now what I'm going to have is an arm going outwards like this like that and then go past that and up like this and down again there and pointing up and put a collar there and then fill in those bits with some lines that sort of scruffy pinstripe look to make it look darker and again on that jacket bring that jacket into join like that now you can bring a line out and a line out like that and back down like that and then up and then bring a line up to a hook and down, up to a hook, and down, up, that, back, and down. And we put some lines here and there, once again to make it skeletal. A few joints in his fingers. Just like that. Now I'm just going to bring the end of his trousers there. some small feet down there, colour those in black now just under here if I'm sitting on something curve a line down like that and down like that and put a couple of triangular marks to make some grass Bring that across with a little wobbly line, a few little stones, put another line going up in there, and curve that one over and down, and do a half circle, with a little square on the bottom, then do a couple of black circles in there. The lines on there, then did a line going out, two lines going out, just like each side, and then you can top that with these half circles to make bones. And there you have a Jack Skellington. <laughs>